Okay, now moving on, this next story could not be more different. It's one that took us all the way to England to meet an inventor who's doing his part to help chickens cross the road. It's no joke. Keeping chickens in the city limits is all the rage in England right now. And vehicle chicken collisions are on the rise. No joke. Luckily, our feathered friends have a guardian angel, Simon Nichols. Normally, he designs fashionable chicken coops, but now he's on a mission to keep road-crossing chickens safe. People go jogging with pink and yellow jackets on, so why not put them on chickens? So the idea started when customers called up and started asking about how they could keep their chickens warm in the winter. We've had three or four really cold winters. This is Simon's first design, a fleece-lined prototype that looks more like a pot holder with straps. We soon found out that it wasn't that practical. It was pretty difficult to get on the chicken. Even though prototype number one is a dud, it doesn't stop the flow of Simon's creative juices. So sometimes an idea might be really crazy, you know? For example, you could put a rubber ring around a chicken to stop it getting attacked by a fox, or if a car hits it, then it could bounce off without getting hurt. It sounds ridiculous, but it might lead to something. All of these things you put in the melting pot and something great comes out. After some trial and error, this is what came out of the pot, a one-size-fits-all high-visibility vest. It has a quilted inner lining made from NASA-approved Flectalon to keep the chickens warm and a breathable outer fabric. So this is the final one. This is the one we made. I'll show you how it works. So you pop the chicken's head through the hole, and then you bring the tie underneath on both sides, and there you have it. it looks good, and it's safe too. So when we're designing any product, we want to become expert in the field. So we go and meet the customer, see what their needs and requirements are, look at the animals. Shall we um, let the chickens out for a little while? Okay. Quinn and Colin are satisfied customers. Here we go. Calm down. Calm. They've been keeping chickens in their busy suburban neighborhood for a few years. But Prudence here is also, you know, one of our oldest chickens. Uh, so she's top hen as well. So she keeps the other, the other chickens in, in, in check. And pink's also her favorite color as well. So. And they've just recently shelled out for the protective garb. <laughs> it's nice that the jackets are reflective because in the headlights in the car, the driver can see the chickens. It gives us that peace of mind that we know that we can just leave them to it. Get your jacket on first. Just stick your head through. They get used to the jackets pretty quickly. Um, to start with, they think, you know, what's going on, and they do a little bit of a, a dance as if they were drunk. Do you want some more treats, girls? Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Just watching my chickens in their jackets. Ah, they look great. Yeah, they do. There's nothing like seeing your design being used by an actual customer. When our neighbours first saw them, they thought it was quite funny. You know, but <laughs> when we explained what they were for... That's what most people think is a joke to start Yeah, with, they really. do, they do. Going to, to see Quinn today, and being really happy with the product, and you can see his, his chickens looking really cool um, and being safe in his back garden was, was a really great thing. Hi, right, girls, behave yourselves. Such a fun idea, and in case you're wondering, these chicken vests are flying off the shelves. In fact, two of them flew into our studio and landed on a pair of chickens, which we have crossing a road, just so you can really see that this works not only in England, but here in Canada as well. That is right. Let's, let, let's guide them down the chicken runway. That is really, really wonderful. And of course, if you guys have any chicken crossing the road jokes, feel free to tweet us at Risk and Dan at Ziatong. I'd love to hear them. Yeah, and if you think that's crazy, we have a lot more crazy stuff coming this week. Here's a little preview.